Joining me now, Congressman Jim Jordan. He serves on both the Judiciary and the Oversight Committee. He's also a co-founder of the influential House Freedom Caucus. Uh, and, Congressman, great to have you with us. I, I, a lot of Good to be with you. I, let, let me start first with uh, the CEO of Google uh, deigning to join, yeah. join the uh, House of Representatives and, uh, and take up these issues, very important issues on platform bias and everything else, including their uh, alignment with China. Your thoughts? No, I think that's great news. Look, whether it's Google, Facebook, or, or Twitter, uh, we know that these guys have been up to making it difficult for conservatives to access uh, conservative information or get the same kind of uh, access on their, on their social media platforms. So I think this is, this is important. As, as you know, Lou, there were four members of the House of Representatives who were shadow banned by Twitter. Uh, Gates, Meadows, Nunes, and Jordan. And, of course, Twitter's response was, oh, it was just a glitch in our algorithm. To which I thought, well, wait a minute, what would you put in the algorithm? The names Gates, Meadows, Nunes, and Jordan. I mean, come on. So we know there's something going on there. Uh, let's, let's, let's get to the bottom. They're either a neutral social media platform or they're a newspaper. And if you're right. a newspaper, there are different laws that apply to you. Or we have to look at them as a monopoly maybe and say, look, it's time to break them up. So this is where we're at. I think it's important we at least highlight what's going on and start the conversation so it's good they're coming in to talk with members of Congress. I, I think you're exactly right, and I, and I think that you, you're right about that algorithm. Uh, it's not a very complicated one, is it? Uh, I, I want to turn, and by the way, the president's supporting uh, your, your well, We views. don't know. We've never seen it. So let, let, come in and tell us that. Let's see what it is. Yeah, you know, that, that will be a fascinating process. If apparently, you've succeeded in making sure it begins this Friday. Uh, so good work on that. Let me, let me start with Rosenstein. Uh, all that you, uh, speaking of uh, you, those four members, uh, each of you part of the effort uh, to bring to yep. heal this Justice Department led in the most corrupt uh, and toxic fashion uh, throughout. Uh, your thoughts about Rosenstein, uh, whether the president should keep him, and what should be the outcome of that meeting Thursday? Well, I'll leave that up to the president and the White House. Here's what I know, based on what we've learned in the last few days relative to Mr. Rosenstein. First thing is he should be in front of the House Judiciary Committee as soon as possible to answer our questions. You cannot have, Lou, you cannot have the top guy at the Justice Department, which is what Mr. Rosenstein is in effect. You cannot have the top guy at the Justice Department talking to subordinates about recording the commander in chief, even if it was done in a sarcastic way. You cannot have that happen. So we need Mr. Rosenstein in front of the House Judiciary Committee mm -hmm. answering our questions. Who was in that meeting? Was McCabe? Was Strzok? Was, was Lisa Pe Who was all in that meeting? What was actually said? We need to know all that information. So come in front of the Judiciary Committee and the House of Representatives and answer our questions. And then second, this underscores we need the information. I asked for the McCabe memos clear back in July. Justice right. Department said, nope, we're not going to give them to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. But somehow they're leaking them to the New York Times. So give that information to Congress so we can get answers for you, you folks in the press, and more importantly, for the American people. I... I Again, you're exactly on point with this. The, the issue also, though, becomes what are we to do with this department that is leaking, uh, this department that is not working uh, in alignment with the president of the United States, and uh, which seems to be responding to clarion calls from the left uh, to work against the interest of the White House, the president of the United States, uh, as, quote, unquote, an independent department. And to which, yeah. personally, I say, no, it's, the hell you say? Independent? It reports yeah, it, to the president. Yeah, right. This is so frustrating. I, I've said this before on your show, Lou, but, but think about this. James Comey fired. Andy McCabe, deputy director, fired. Uh, Jim Baker, chief counsel, first demoted, then left. Lisa Page, FBI counsel, demoted, then left. Peter Strzok, FBI deputy director of counterintelligence, first demoted, then fired. When have you ever seen that happen? at a federal agency where the top people, and oh, not just any top people, the same top people who ran the Clinton investigation, launched and ran the Russian investigation, where that's taken place. So this is how serious it is, and we know what they did with the dossier, we know all the information that's coming out, and now we have Mr. Rosenstein, who according to the New York Times, and I don't know whether to believe this or not, I don't know whether to believe Andy McCabe or not, because obviously he lied three times under oath, according to the inspector right. general. But we now have this story about Mr. Rosenstein telling in front of subordinates that he was considering actually recording the president of the United States. Come on. So this is serious stuff. It's why I want to ask him questions. I want to get to the bottom of it so we can all figure out exactly what happened. Congressman Jim Jordan, as always, great to have you with us. Thanks so much.